We've got some fantastic news to share, especially if you're receiving benefits from the Social Security Administration, SSA, like Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, or Veterans Affairs, VA, benefits. Get ready because the SSA is rolling out $2,200 payments and they're headed straight to your bank account. In this video, we're breaking it all down for you. Ever wondered if you're eligible for this extra boost? Curious about when you'll see that sweet deposit in your account? Or maybe you're eager to know how to make the most out of this financial opportunity? Well, you're in the right place. We're here to guide you through the nitty gritty details in easy to understand terms. Whether you're a seasoned beneficiary who knows the ins and outs of the system or someone who's just starting to navigate the world of benefits, this video has something for everyone. Join us as we explore the significance of these payments and share practical tips on how to manage your newfound funds wisely. From understanding eligibility criteria to offering insights on financial planning, we've got you covered every step of the way. The $2,200 direct deposit payments will be going out to recipients of the following federal benefit programs, Social Security, Retirement, Survivors, and Disability Benefits, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, and Veterans Affairs, VA, Disability Compensation and Pension Benefits. This covers a massive number of Americans, more than 70 million people in total receive these types of government benefits. The payments are intended to provide a financial boost to help these vulnerable populations keep up with rising costs for essentials like food, housing, utilities, and health care. While Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits do get regular cost-of-living adjustments, COLAs, those increases haven't been keeping pace with the record-setting inflation the U.S. has experienced over the past two years. The good news is that the $2,200 payments will be sent out automatically to eligible recipients there's no need to apply or do anything special to receive the funds. For Social Security, SSI, and SSDI beneficiaries, the payments will be issued via direct deposit to the same bank account where their regular monthly benefits are deposited. The payments will go out in two installments of $1,100 each the first in May 2024 and the second in November 2024. VA Disability Compensation and Pension recipients will receive their $2,200 payment in a single lump sum, also via direct deposit, in May 2024. This timing is designed to align with the annual VA COLA increase that takes effect at the start of each calendar year. There are a few key factors driving the Biden administration and Congress to authorize these $2,200 direct deposit payments. The primary motivation is to help Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries keep up with the record high inflation the U.S. has experienced over the past two years. The Consumer Price Index, CPI, the government's main inflation gauge, surged 9.1% in 2022, the highest 12-month increase since 1981. Even with the Social Security COLA increasing benefits by 8.7% in 2023, that still leaves a significant gap between what recipients are getting and the true rise in costs for essentials. The $2,200 payments are designed to help bridge that gap. Beyond the immediate inflation pressures, there are also longer-term concerns about the financial stability of Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits programs. The trustees who oversee these programs have warned that without legislative action, the Social Security Trust Fund could be depleted by 2034 and the SSDI Trust Fund by 2028. Providing the $2,200 payments is seen as a way to shore up these crucial social safety net programs and demonstrate to beneficiaries that the government is committed to preserving their benefits even in tough economic times. There's also an economic rationale behind the $2,200 payments, as putting more money directly into the hands of these beneficiary populations is expected to provide a significant boost to consumer spending and economic activity. To receive the $2,200 direct deposit payments, you must be currently enrolled in one of the eligible government benefit programs, Social Security, Retirement, Survivors, and Disability Benefits, Supplemental Security Income, SSI, or Veterans Affairs, VA, Disability Compensation and Pension Benefits. The payments will go out to all beneficiaries in these programs, with no means testing or income restrictions. 
There are a few key exceptions and special cases to be aware of, such as dependent children not qualifying on their own and those receiving benefits from multiple programs only getting one $2,200 payment. The $2,200 direct deposit payments will start going out in May 2024, with the first installment of $1,100 hitting bank accounts that month. The second and final $1,100 installment will then be paid out in November 2024, just in time for the holiday season. This staggered two-part distribution is designed to provide a consistent source of extra support over the course of the year, rather than a one-time lump sum. For VA disability compensation and pension recipients, the full $2,200 payment will arrive as a single lump sum in May 2024. Direct deposit will be the primary method of distribution, going to the same bank account where beneficiaries receive their regular monthly payments. If you're not currently enrolled in Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or VA benefits, you won't be eligible for the $2,200 direct deposit payments. However, if you believe you may qualify for any of those benefits, now is a good time to apply, as the SSA and VA have expedited their application processing to handle the anticipated surge in new claims. The $2,200 payments are intended to be used for whatever essential expenses beneficiaries need most things like food, housing, utilities, healthcare, and other basic costs of living. There are no restrictions on how the money can be spent, and the non-taxable status of the payments means beneficiaries get to keep the full $2,200 amount. The $2,200 direct deposit payments are part of a broader set of initiatives by the Biden administration and Congress to support Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries amid the current economic challenges. Other key measures include increased Social Security, SSI, and VA COLAs, expansion of Medicaid and Medicare coverage, increased funding for aging and disability services, exploration of Social Security reform, and enhanced VA benefits and outreach. The $2,200 payments are designed to complement these broader efforts, providing an immediate injection of financial relief while policymakers continue to tackle the longer-term challenges facing these crucial government benefit programs. Beyond the direct benefit to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA recipients, the $2,200 direct deposit payments are also expected to have a broader positive impact on the overall economy. Putting more cash directly into the pockets of vulnerable populations who tend to have a high marginal propensity to consume is projected to provide an important boost to consumer spending, supporting businesses, jobs, and tax revenues. Estimates suggest the payments could add as much as $50 billion to GDP in 2024, with particularly pronounced impacts in sectors like retail, healthcare, and utilities. Of course, the payments are not without some potential downsides, as injecting an extra $154 billion into the economy could also contribute to ongoing inflationary pressures. However, most economists believe the positive impacts will outweigh the costs, especially since the payments are a one-time event rather than an ongoing increase in government spending. The authorization of the $2,200 direct deposit payments has its origins in a push by congressional Democrats to provide additional support and aid to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA beneficiaries. This effort gained momentum in 2023 as concerns grew about the impact of historic inflation on these vulnerable populations. After months of negotiations, the Biden administration and congressional Democrats were able to secure bipartisan support for the measure as part of a broader legislative package. Both parties recognized the urgency of getting aid and support to the millions of seniors, disabled individuals, and low-income Americans who rely on these crucial government programs. Ultimately, the $2,200 payments appear to be a strategic move by policymakers to deliver near-term financial relief while also potentially boosting the broader economic recovery shoring up the social safety net, and promoting more equitable, inclusive growth. The $2,200 direct deposit payments also represent a significant expansion of the government's efforts to assist vulnerable populations during challenging economic times. In the past, one-time stimulus checks and enhanced unemployment benefits have been the go-to tools for delivering emergency financial aid. But this latest round of payments marks a shift toward more targeted relief for specific beneficiary groups, like seniors, the disabled, and low-income families, who have historically been underserved by broader stimulus efforts.
We've learned from past crises that across the board stimulus isn't always the most effective way to help those who are truly struggling, said House Budget Committee Chair John Yarmouth. Directing aid straight to Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA recipients is a much more precise and impactful approach. The payments also build upon previous measures taken by the Biden administration and Congress to bolster government safety net programs. This includes not just the significant Social Security, SSI, and VA COLA increases, but also expansions of Medicaid, improvements to Medicare, and enhanced funding for aging and disability services. We're taking a comprehensive approach to supporting these vulnerable populations, said Senate Finance Committee member Sherrod Brown. The $2,200 payments are just one piece of a broader effort to strengthen the social safety net and ensure economic security for all Americans, regardless of their age disability status, or income level. One potential concern, however, is the long-term fiscal sustainability of these types of direct payment programs. With the national debt already at record highs, some fiscal conservatives have cautioned about the risks of further government spending, even if intended for a worthy cause. We have to be mindful of the trade-offs and unintended consequences, said Senate Budget Committee Ranking Member Lindsey Graham. While I support the goal of helping seniors and the disabled, I worry that these direct payments could contribute to inflationary pressures and saddle future generations with even more debt. The Biden administration and congressional Democrats have argued that the economic and social benefits of the $2,200 payments outweigh the fiscal costs, particularly given the severity of the current inflationary crisis. They also point to the bipartisan support the measure received as a sign that lawmakers on both sides of the aisle recognize the critical need for this type of assistance. At the end of the day, this isn't about partisan politics, it's about doing the right thing for the most vulnerable members of our society, said House Ways and Means Committee member Susan Del Bene. We have a moral obligation to make sure they can afford the basics and maintain their dignity, even in the face of rapidly rising prices.